Look at the graph. Look at the graph. Seventy percent of my viewers are not subscribed. Seventy percent. Ah. Just click the subscribe button if you like my content, please. It would mean a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for my anger outburst there. Just, it was just, it just needed to be said. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. I am Chloe Flandre Cuts and Haggis. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Boy, oh boy, have we been waiting on this parcel for a minute. As I am sponsored by G Fuel, you can use the code Chloe on gfuel.com, by the way. I do have the privilege of getting flavours sent out a little bit earlier than they drop so I can make a review on and I can promote. But there's always an issue with me being in Scotland, obviously. It takes about a week or so to get to New York from Scotland. And that's that's just that's just regular time. That's the normal years with, with pre pre uh, pre COVID. But now that we have all that going on and the Christmas rush, everything has been a lot slower. So that delayed this package massively. I really hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I feel great. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just. I just feel really great. Woof! That is sharp. You may be wondering, Chloe, did you did you like get bitten by a snake? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. So please ignore ignore this. It's, it's, it's a very traumatic experience for me and this and the snake. Wow! I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime for you. Doodle sticker, another sticker to add to the collection, and oh. Jesus, I'm excited. And here we have it. What I've been waiting for, for what feels like forever, the G Fuel Classified flavor. This is a mystery flavor. G Fuel have been bringing out a couple of these um, this year, like uh, like Phase X and uh, this one and that's about it. <laughs> so this flavor is completely classified. It's not just the name of it. Nobody has no idea exactly what this flavor is. Obviously you can have a guess, you can taste it, you can guess, you can mix other flavors together, see what you get to come closest to what this tastes like, but none of us really know. And will Deefel ever announce it? I don't know. But I am gonna try my best today to mix it up, taste it, and kind of try to decipher what actual flavor this is. I've watched a couple of people's reviews on this already, and people were saying it's like a watermelon bubblegum, vanilla kind of cotton candy vibe. And if it's watermelon bubblegum, I'll be saying, hey, G Fuel, I made that mix video a couple months ago. <laughs> we now know where G Fuel be getting their ideas from. Oh, very, very clean. Oh my gosh, that was so clean. Holy moly. It's gonna be a good day. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Oh man, it is so hard to try pick out what flavor you're smelling and probably tasting when you don't know what it is. When you're told it's a certain flavor, I think your body just like, it's like a placebo effect. Your body tells you that it's that flavor. But man, this is gonna be hard. It smells sweet. It smells like a, a cake. Like icing, icing from a cake. Can we see the scooper? No, sir, we can't. Oh, we can, we can. I told you, it's gonna be a good day. Oh my gosh, this is difficult, man. Really difficult. I hope one day G Fuel announce what this is because it's gonna be bugging me until I find out. Got the bubble gum shaker today. Soon we will be trying all of these in the, uh, the Chloe shaker. I think it smells like cake. I don't know. I really think it smells like cake. Big old scoop, you guys know me, I like a little bit of extra flavor in my G Fuel, so I always put it a little bit over the recommended amount just so I can get hit in the face by that flavor. It makes me laugh because I, I think G Fuel and Gamma Labs and the scientists over there that make these flavors are probably sitting watching the video laughing at the uh, guesses people are making like we're completely off, probably. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Wow, this goes amazing with this shaker. I thought it was a more ready kind of color when I seen other people mixing it, but it's actually really, really pink. So great choice, Chloe, on the, uh, the pink shaker. This looks so good. Great pop, fantastic pop. Oh man, it smells different. I, it still smells sweet and I, I smell a little bit of that cake thing that I was getting, uh, just the powder. But I can really smell watermelon, you know, and I really don't think it's a placebo effect kind of thing because I've heard other people say it. I can really smell watermelon. And you guys know my favourite flavour of G Fuel is watermelon. And my second favourite is probably bubblegum. Uh, so if this is what other people are saying, like a watermelon bubblegum, I, I, this would be probably my number one flavour. I know, I say that with all the new flavours, they're just so damn good. I am getting little bits of the cake actually. 
the cake smell. There's only one thing left to do. Let's try it. What? 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 This is difficult. This is very difficult. <laughs> I'm really tasting what everybody else is saying. Watermelon bubblegum. But I don't think it, I don't think G feels gonna make it something that easy to pick out. I think it's, this is meant to be hard. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put a little bit more powder in just so I can get an even stronger taste of the actual flavor. I want to work this out, I need to. So I'm gonna put another half scoop in. Maybe this will help me. I think this will give me an advantage. Oh, that powder, the powder smells so good. It really smells like a cake. I was kind of hoping this was like a birthday cake flavor, but I don't know if it's tasting like that. You guys didn't know when Roman Atwood was gonna get his own flavor, he was going to make a birthday cake. It was announced that birthday cake G Fuel flavor was, was coming out was, as his flavor. But the team maybe thought, I don't think this flavor will do that well. Not a lot of people might like birthday cake flavor and Roman didn't really think it suited him well, so that's why he went with the Ham Mama. So maybe, maybe they've got that birthday cake flavor sitting there waiting uh, to, to release or um, put in a mystery flavor, I don't know. Am I smelling less of the watermelon? I'm really, I, see I don't smell the bubble gum I don't think, but I'm smelling something sweet, like like the cake. Like a vanilla or icing kind of smell. I'm thinking, the more I'm thinking about it, I think this could be birthday cake. Oh man. See, when I'm tasting it, I, I taste the watermelon and the bubble gum. So it's pushing me to say that this is watermelon bubblegum mi mixed together, but I really, I don't know. I don't know if g Fuel would do that. And that, something's telling me it's, it's, it's not that. And I just feel like, I feel like that's way too easy, but where's the watermelon fitting in if it's like a birthday cake or cake flavor? This is so difficult. Other than the difficulty I'm having <laughs> trying to pick out what flavor this is, it's delicious. Like I said, watermelon and bubblegum is my favourite flavours and it does taste like a mixture between those. I feel like there's something else in there but it's super light, it's refreshing, it goes down so smoothly. That's why I think I'm having such trouble deciding what this is because I keep needing to drink it because it's just, oh, it's so light and smooth and just the flavour just goes right through you. What is this? What is this? Tastes like cake. The powder on its own tastes like cake. I'm saying it's cake. G Fuel, if you're watching this video and it's cake, blink twice. I won't be able to see you, but you know, just, just slide the eyes emoji in my DMs. I won't tell anyone. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I don't wanna say the rest is everybody else, although it does taste like warm and bubblegum. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it out there, I'm gonna say this is cake. This is some kind of cake or icing flavor. Overall, ooh. Great flavour. The taste is really delicious. This is going to climb up there um, to my top spot. And at the end of the year, I am going to be ranking all the G Fuel flavours to let you guys know my favourite flavours. It's going to be really hard. The flavours that have came out this year have been incredible. Everyone I've tasted, it's shot right up to my top five. So I'm really going to need to sit down, go through all my flavours and probably taste them all again just to figure out what one's going to be my favourite. But this... Definitely a good flavour. If you like watermelon, if you like bubblegum, if you like that sweet taste in G Fuel, but it's very, very light and refreshing. It's, oh my gosh, it's just, it's everything, it's everything. <laughs> Although I really don't think this flavour is available anymore. I think it was only a Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of exclusive thing. I don't know if they'll ever bring it back. Maybe they will, but unfortunately I couldn't get the video out before to tell you guys what it was like. So I'm sorry for that, but it really wasn't my fault. Please forgive me. I know I always rate flavours really high when I taste them, but they kind of go down my list. But it's just what I'm feeling, okay? I'm gonna have to give it a nine. It's a combo between my two favourite flavours. Well, that's what it tastes like anyway. So, of course, it's gonna be high up there. I, I really love this flavour. So now that you've subscribed, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.